Libyan boats carrying up to 600 people trying to flee the violence-torn country has reportedly sunk off the coast of North Africa. It follows an earlier report of 61 migrants from Libya dying from thirst and hunger on another vessel which had been adrift in the Mediterranean for over two weeks. Witnesses say NATO deliberately ignored the boat's mayday calls. Former Belgian MP Lorde Van Oost, who's been outspoken on the treatment of refugees, says it shows willful negligence. These kind of events are hard, sound hardly surprising to me. You're talking about the most sophisticated technological arm in the world, and they would not be capable of finding some boats at sea while they are, have operations uh, chasing pirates uh, on the coast of Somalia, while they can spot one simple tank in a city, and they could not do that. I hardly doubt it. So without getting into the details of these specific events, this hardly does surprise me. But it's only logical. Humanitarian concerns are not on the agenda of NATO. As far as I can tell, that these people flee the regimes that we have kept in place in the first place is only a human reaction to a, a desperate situation. And uh, by bombing these countries is not going to help on the country. What we could do is help T Tunisia and help Egypt, the democratic movements there. Now, that would send a clear signal to the revolts in other countries. But that is precisely not what we're doing. What we're doing is we're very fast with our armies, but when it comes to rescue people, it does be so slow. There's, there's not, it's not some, some law of nature that this is willing politics that puts uh, this our priorities and not the people that are sinking on boats in the Mediterranean.